All right, so here's the underpainting. Oh, so I don't know if I'll get all this done today, but we're going to get started on it anyway. All right, let's get this thing oiled up a little bit. Let's oil it up. All right, so we're just going to take some regular linseed oil. So this style is underpainting is called brunette. It's all done in uh, part number. Now we're just applying some linseed oil to oil it up. So we can start adding color. First layer, color layers over the top. I've also got some texture in this, well actually both trees, there's some texture already in there. That we added in the first round, so. How's the sound? Does the sound good? I moved this. I moved this too. Hey, Bruce. I moved the microphone as well. So. Let's just kind of get this guy in first. <coughs> the far bank of the trees. I grew up with uh, three sisters and a brother. We were a hunting, fishing type family, especially if we wanted to eat. So I can't say any of us ever starved, but we ate, we ate a bunch of squirrels and frogs and a whole lot of fish. <coughs> Did a lot of pond fishing when I was a kid. Can't much do that anymore. People don't want to let you on their property fish. Even though like what we used to do, we used to, <coughs> my dad in particular used to take care of people's ponds, he'd stalk them. And uh, now though I guess you know with all the litigation that can happen they don't do this too much anymore. But. Uh, you know let's come a little bit farther. So now we'll start laying the glazes in over this, as soon as we get there. The white thin layer of glazes over here. Yeah, I think we may as well just go ahead and ink the whole thing. Let's just, let's just do it all while we're at it. Now keep the layers consistent throughout, even if I don't finish it all today. Let me add a layer of color here and then come back and lay another layer of colors on later tomorrow. So we're closing in. This is this uh, this painting's done. It'll be my hundredth painting this year. And that was my goal for the year. So I can kind of cruise through the holidays. Work on my ceramic stuff. I don't have any shows for the rest of the year, so that's good. That'll let me do some maintenance things over here. We, can, we just finished the you know, reconciliation of all the paintings we got and sold, had and sold, and not, don't have any more. All right, let me get this. So today, rather than using uh, a waterless uh, mineral spirits to clean the brush, we'll be using just baby oil. It works really easy with this, this technique. So I have this little stainless steel thing of baby oil. And really all you got to do is kind of wipe your brush out before you start. Hey Dorothy! And then just kind of rub it in the little scrubby thing on the bottom there. And wipe it out. Alright, then be careful not to take any baby oil up to the um, canvas so we'll change title. Now we're going to wipe this some of this linseed oil back. And I just need a really thin coat on there just for the really what it's for is to let the paints the glazes slide on pretty easy but it'll also allow me to blend fairly easy. So that'll be good. Alright we'll just set that to the side. Okay let me just get up here a little bit. There we go. So 
missed a spot right there. All right, let's do this. Uh, so how are all of you doing? Hey, hey, Harriet. How's everybody doing? Can you see that okay, or is there too much glare? Hmm. Let's start off with some. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just start off with some phthalo blue. So I've got this pegboard thing down. It's pretty pat now, I think. It's working out pretty well. So we'll just put a little bit there, though. Get started here and see how much we think we're going to need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This painting's been dry for weeks. I been sitting over there and I just haven't gotten around to it. Around to it. You don't know about the round to it. <coughs> so what do you use a uh, overhand? Stroke here. Don't want to do like too much of this first because just kind of want to lay that glaze over the top of what I've got on there. Of course, that linseed oil will coax it right out of the brush, so that's nice. Everybody ready for Thanksgiving? <coughs> We're having a big crowd, so that'd be good. That'd be fun. And then the day after that, we start Christmas decorating. And we, it will be crazy around here on Friday. Matter of fact, I probably won't get a chance <coughs> too much. After Thursday, do the weekend to go see the cats that I'm taking care of. Cat socializer. So that's where I've been spending a bit of my time. I'm just kind of following the pattern I laid in here with the Brene. I don't need to cover it all. Second, a little too much, too much color up there. Let's see if I can spread it out. How much I can spread it out? All right, all right. So we're gonna clean this brush. Hey, Sunny, Sunny, honey, how are you? Some of that down off the board and put it on the palette. I may use some more of this blue and phthalo blue in a little bit, but I don't need it right now. All right, so so those of you who paint a lot of skies. Probably now we're kind of putting this red in here because we're going to put some yellow around that. Let's start raising the sky up here in a minute. If you bring that yellow in close on that blue, you're going to get green. And all, and interestingly enough, though, here in Kentucky, we do get green skies a lot. Especially right around sunset, sunrise. Matter of fact, almost every day we get that. All right, that's good enough for that right now. So we're gonna go ahead and blend some of this before we bring on any more color. All right, 
Let's see. Oh, let's blend this. Let's, get, let's just get a fan brush here. We'll use this one here. This one looks pretty good. Let me start here in the middle. It's going to be wiped out a little bit. Get some of that little bit of that blue out. So I went and saw Midway today. Fantastic movie. I don't know if you guys are history buffs, but probably one of the most important battles of World War II. I'm somewhat appalled sometimes at people's lack of knowledge when it comes to history. So it was nice to see somebody did a, a good film about it. It was all based on facts, so that was pretty good. All right, let's see. Let's try a little bit of this. Uh, hmm. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's put a little bit of cad yellow medium on the palette. And we'll put some of that up in the sky and then we'll start to lighten, start to lighten things up a little bit. And I'm gonna, when I, so I start to lighten it, I'll make a decision then as to whether I'm going to finish lighting it, lighting it tomorrow, lightening it tomorrow or today. We'll see. See, I'm not laying that down as a solid color, just kind of brushing it in here and there. I want to leave some action up in that sky. And I'm going to paint this right up against this tree, so I, I don't want to make a halo around that tree. So I'm going to paint over the trunk and then I'll come back and later and kind of brush that out with a Q-tip. Alright, let's pick some more. There we go. Same with this tree. I want that color to be over there. Then we'll take it out with a um, Q-tip. Here in a minute. We'll brush it back out. We'll get all that paint back off of there. Yeah, where the tree is. Just where the tree is, though. And that way you don't get, like, this uh, halo around it where there's no color. So, that's helpful. Alright, let's blend all that. We'll probably wipe the brush out quite a bit more this time. Because we're picking up a lot of color. tend to the tree trunks a little bit and then we can start kind of start to feel this out. So we're going to use a q-tip. I don't care too much about it being up here in the branches so much but we'll clean, we'll clean it out of there and at the same time leave it on the sky. See we've got some sky thrown through right there on those branches so we want to leave that in there. If you saw me lay these trees in earlier, 
I went back on the second day and widened those trees out a little bit more than what they were. I thought they were, I don't know, they were too skinny. Didn't like, I don't like, I don't, I didn't really like those skinny trees. They were okay, but I didn't really, I don't know, they just didn't do it for me, so. I don't think I have to worry too much about that. Right, that swing too much. I think I can paint over that pretty easy. There we go. Yeah, it's a fresh crisp apple. It is that. I love apples a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. light in a few spots just to give us a little bit of a cloud effect we'll see how many clouds I put in here in a second if I actually put any I'm gonna put some tappy clouds in but first I just want to kind of lighten some of this especially down this way right here on the horizon Well, that'll show up on video, but here it's showing up pretty well. Alright. Just clean the brush out just a tad. worry so much about the ropes there but I am going to clean that swing off just a little bit because when I get over there well maybe I can do it let's see I don't want to create a halo around the swing either but maybe I'll do that with a brush so let's let's do that so we're going to use a flat this flat in particular we're going to put a little bit of linseed oil on it and wipe it off just a little bit. And then just use that to run down those ropes and peel that paint right back up off of there. Wipe that out. Maybe I still got enough in there, we'll see. Yep, the brush is nice and saw sharp, so. Yeah, it was nice to see the Midway movie today. My grandfather was in the in the Pacific Theater during the World War II. So it's nice to see part of part of his life told there. Not that the movie was about him or anything, but it wasn't. But all right. Now, let's do a little bit of blending for that. We'll go back to a wider brush this time. I'm going to skip that blue patch, and then we're going to kind of come down. We're going way down. There we go. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. No idea what Bruce is talking about, but evidently I'm missing part of the conversation. <laughs> okay. Let's clean this brush. I'm 
I'm gonna wipe it up real good. Cause I'm gonna pick it up later. I have it still have baby oil in it. As you may or may not know, baby oil will not dry. So you put it up on your painting, and you're gonna have some problems probably. All right. So let's use. Let's see what we got here. We got on the palette. We got some blue, some red. So let's just kind of stick with that. Let's add that some Van Dyke brown. And we'll just take those three colors and mix them together. Maybe throw a little bit of yellow in. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't need a lot of paint here. So let's just kind of mix this up a, a base color. This will actually be a, the mid-tone a little bit because we've got plenty of dark on there. all this today because all right let some of this dry all right so let's mix the halo blue and closing crimson and the brown color maybe throw a little bit a little bit of titanium white in with that Use, I tell you what, let's use uh, an oval brush. I got one here. Well, I could probably clean it with baby oil, but I'm not going to bother. I'll just hang on a second. I'll open up my brush cleaner. Clean, clean this knife off first. Excuse me for not keeping up with the side conversation too much. All right, let's start adding. I want a little bit of yellowish. The yellow. Well, let's see. I'll tell you what. Let's go with. Uh, let's start off. With, let's maybe we'll put like four different colors on these trees. So we've got two tones on there now. So let's just take uh, some sap green, some yellow, some cad yellow, some Bob Rossi kind of colors maybe, a little bit, not too much. Bottom, we'll, we'll light and on this side a little bit, we'll lighten it. There we go. All right, so back to the sap green, back to the cad yellow. Shouldn't attack me today. I switched out my uh, switch to another 
support easel and it works a lot better. So hopefully that won't happen. Emily and I were talking about it the other day. She's like, you, you just remained so cool. You just kept going. Like, yeah, well, ain't nothing you can do about it. That's how you learn things, try new things. All right. So I think that'll be about it for the overbrush. Let's do some work on these trees now. I think I'll do that with an edge brush as well. I think I'll keep that one. Let me pick up, uh, I'll just paint this in with a brush. So let's get some. Good there. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit more dark to those trees. So let's just clean that brush. We'll come back with some of this blue. Gotta put that in here. A few spots here and there. shoreline on the far side so we're going to, to do that we're going to need let's just do that with a flat brush so let's clean this one well hmm. think about this for a second bring that flat in all right well, let's do let's take the flat get a little bit of sap green a little bit of blue a little bit of sap green and a little bit of blue Painting up close to yellow, so that blue is just going to add more green before it's over. So that's good. Light touches on the back. So we'll just kind of keep that going out for the moment. And then we'll come back with a little bit more dark on the front of that. I'm going to just make another layer in here. With the, let me, see, let me see how I'm going to do this. Let's stick with the Van Dyke Brown, but let's add just a little bit to the brush, with a little bit of white to the brush. It's a little too much white. Right over his fishing rod. I'll come back and pick that up in a minute. All right. Now. All right. Let's blend that. Let's blend all of that just a little bit.
Hey man, Dee Dee complained too much about the chair. She complained so much about the chair, so I replaced it, and she hasn't been back on my channel since. <laughs> Just shows you shouldn't operate to please the crowd. I spent money on that for nothing. Okay, back to blending. I just want to soften this grass just a little bit. I'm going to put some more grass on this side in a little while. Alright. Let's ink in the ink in. Let's paint in the uh, Swing. <coughs> Use a flat brush to do that. Just a tad bit of highlight here to that the inside of these ropes. And just a little right here. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna start thinking about adding the water in. I reckon. So let me think about this water for a second. I just love this channel and it's like Nothing. We never figure anything out in advance. Don't do anything painting in advance. We just do it as we go. All right. Same way people who do her off channel. All right. Let's go. I guess it would probably be. I never paint the same thing twice. So I don't guess I can do it the Bob Ross way and just paint three versions of it and do one on television. So Kevin Hill does the same kind of a thing. I think. Marion probably does too, but I don't really have time for that. I have too many things to paint. 100 paintings this year, it's one every three days, so if you get off schedule, you kind of messed up. So this is uh, ultramarine blue. Going in is the, the darker, the dark color to start with. It's going to glaze some of that on over there. We'll just paint over the grass for now. We can cover that up later with other stuff. We may pull it back out later with other stuff. Or if we decide we don't want it, we can cover it up. But a little bit onto this guy but not too much I'll just have to wipe it back off so this flat I can get fairly close to it without and still not create a halo just because I've painted this way quite a, a little while now I guess since May I've been trying these over, under paintings over paintings I'm taking uh, I need to get back to it too I've been working on uh, Marion Dutton's portrait course and uh, it's a nice course. It's a lot. She covers a lot. It's really, it's really well worth the money. All right, let's switch hands and paint with the other hand for a while. Paint over the kids. It's fishing rod right now. Same thing around this sign. Lay this color in, then we'll come back with it. Just glazing on. All right. Hey, Larry. Just gonna blend this a little bit. 
I'm not going to put the water lines in just yet. But we will shortly. Let's take some of these brush strokes out. Let's take, uh, let's get a Q-tip. I'm just going to clean a little bit of this off. I don't have too much i got to worry about just yet because I'm not coming back to these good folks for a little bit. But we're just kind of, so I can, don't paint too much over the lighter portions of the painting. And it's not that it makes any difference for the paint, but it, it um, except that, Except that I forget what's under there sometimes, so I'll keep that out. I'll try to keep that cleaned up a little bit. So I've got a new cat. He's been around now for about three weeks. His name is Axel. He's a British short hair. He's definitely, I mean, I had midnight for 15 years, so you know, you can't really expect it. Axel's going to fill in as fast as midnight, but he uh, he's a pretty, pretty smart guy, but he's he's too squirmy, so I don't know how many, I don't know how many paintings he'll show, painting sessions he'll show up for, but he doesn't, he doesn't sit, he's only two years old, so he doesn't sit still very much. All right, so, okay, let's start thinking about, let's just set some of those aside for now. Change over to Filbert, and we'll need some titanium white. Where did I put here? This up on the board. I'm not going to use a lot of that, so we'll put a little out for now. And even still, I managed to get it on my fingers, so let me get me that out. All right, so we're going to put. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. If you guys have any questions about the technique, just let me know. I'll look around there every every so often. We'll see I'm going to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Alright, now let's do the, we'll go ahead and do the other side and then we'll then we'll blend it. Blend that onto him in a minute so that we don't create a halo. Right now we're just gonna kind of it looks a little halo-y on this side, so I'm just gonna kind of pull it over across him and into the water. There's some weeds right there, so we're not too worried about that. And let's see, let's put a little bit of contrast right here. Let's see what we got here. Let's blend it. We'll use a, a, a fan brush. Let me decide to add some more dark back to that. We'll see in a second. Alright, 
So I think let's go with a little more white out here. You gotta be careful when you're. I mean, you get you get used to it, so you get better at it. But you first start wiping things back. Sometimes you'll wipe right into the middle of your what you just painted, so you don't really want that. But these Q-tips work really well. You might notice it just like painting and wiping back with both hands because um, I'm dexterous. At times that's good, at times that's bad. Alright. It's wiped down pretty good, but I'm going to wipe it down a little bit more. You still see a little tint in her dress right here. I want to deal with that. but I just want to take the color out of there because the uh, when I start to tint her hair it'll show through if I don't if I don't clean it up all right all right so I think what we're gonna do I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish this front landscape right over into the kids and then we're gonna let this sit and then tomorrow I'll come back and knock the rest of the kids out, that part out, just because it'd be easier that way. All right, let's put in, oh, oh, let's see, let's put in some ground. So let's, let's see, let's go back to our green. Add a little bit of blue to that, I think it should be a little bit darker, there we go. So we've sold about, uh, let's see, I guess we've sold about 40 paintings this year. So about a little less than half of what we painted, but um, that's pretty good. At least it, it gives me plenty of room on the shelves to paint some more stuff, so that's good. That's, that's good. And, uh, all right. Let's start. So I haven't cleaned the brush, I just kind of leave some of that green in there. I'll start wiping this forward. Just 
So really we're just kind of adding to the burnt umber that's already there. Yeah. Although this is this color is not burnt umber, this is uh, Van Dyke Brown. Maybe we'll add some more in on that in a second. Okay, so like in the up in the yard, up in the pond part, we're gonna keep this color coming through and then we'll add some more stuff to it. added some a little bit of this blue to darken it up a little bit. We may throw a little purple in there before we're done. We'll see. Alright. I'm gonna I want it darkest. I don't want it darkest right up here in the very front. I'm gonna switch back to something a little bit lighter. bit of this color right in here where their hands are. Mm, I don't know, maybe I have to make it. Let's see. Alright, now let's start adding some grass back. So if you, if you haven't been to see Midway, I would recommend it to you. It's, it's a great movie. They did a really good job with that. Alright. Okay. Now we're going to go back and add the shadowy. The last darkest color probably more than that. ultramarine blue. I could add purple, but I already got this out, so we'll just use this. are going to be light blue, so I'll put a little bit in here to contrast for it, create a contrast for that. I don't want this grass to be too... I'm going to cut up into that a little bit, just make it a little more uneven, Same down here, a little bit more blue. Let's 
clean the kids up. Alright. That'll cover us for today. I think for this. And tomorrow, oh, we gotta clean that sign up too. Alright, we'll do that too. But tomorrow, they'll let us knock the kids out and we'll be done with that. Alright, so let's see. Let's get a Q-tip. Let's start with a Q-tip. We may not, we may, we may need a brush, but maybe not. Okay, there's a spot I missed, so I'll have to go back and do that. Just kind of use a smaller brush to put this color in. Some of this color. guys I think that's about it for well let's see as long as I'm got this let me cut let me get pick up a little bit of this linseed oil sharpen this brush I don't know if this brush will get sharp enough no all right let me switch, let me switch brushes real quick let's go to this guy this really small flat and yeah, it was not gonna do it either all right let's go to this flat. No, that was too big too. Let's go to this one maybe. Yeah, okay, we'll use this one. Alright, put a little bit of linseed oil on that. I just want to pick up the paint on his fishing rod and pick up my paint brush. Alright, so let's see. on this side over here. Looks like there's still a little bit of that blue color. Maybe not. And I'll paint that in tomorrow too. So tomorrow you'll see, I, I should have pointed this out today, but I forgot. But um, the dark and lighter colors in the Bernay punch through when they're when you see them in the in the final. So tomorrow, I might let's see. I might even try. Let's try a couple little highlights here and there. Let's see if we can. I just want to highlight my, mostly back here in the center. Not too much on the side, just a little bit here and there. All right, that'll do. Maybe right on the touch here. We're just kind of letting that color flow, flow out of there. I don't want to keep it too dark. I found that if you need dark in your paintings, really pick up your shadows, but if your stuff gets too dark, you're not liable to sell it. Uh, it just doesn't line up with people's decor, I guess. Anyway, 
I just kind of let it go where it goes most of the time and see how it goes from there. But all right, I missed the grass right here, so let's put some of that in. Just kind of picking up little things here that I've missed while I was painting. So let's just do that. Tomorrow that'll be dry. So when I paint his boots, we'll have, we'll have to repaint over the top of that. All right. Okay, I think that's where we'll leave it for now. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.